Welcome to another video in key clock tutorial. In this video, I will guide you through a simple implementation process to get you started with key clock presented by Mohamed Niaz from IT Pro Guide. As I explained in the last video, key clock offers two primary modes of uh, starting its service. Development mode is designed uh, for ease of use and production mode intended for the deployment in uh, production environments. Our focus will be on the development mode uh, to facilitate quick and easy setup for beginners. Before we diving into the installation process, let's go through the requirements. You need a Ubuntu virtual machine. It can be either in your VMware workstation or Oracle virtual box, or you can also spin a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure or AWS. There are free tier which you can utilize. Then you need to install OpenJDK 17. The dependency for the key clock version that we installing in this video is OpenJDK 17. So you need to install OpenJDK 17. Then we're going to download key clock. Uh, I will provide you the link. So we are going to download it from GitHub from the command prompt. We can uh, download it. Here is the Linux machine, the Ubuntu virtual machine, which I prepared for this demo. So let's run the update and upgrade command first. So we're done with the update commands. Now it's time to install the OpenJDK 17 is our uh, dependency uh, for the key clock version that we're going to install it. The next step is to download the key clock and we are going to download key clock version 23.00. So you can see that I run wget command and the following link to download it from the GitHub. So now we have the key clock version ready in our local disk. The next step for us is to extract the key clock, then move to the opt uh, folder. So let's do that. I'm going to use the tar command to extract the downloaded key clock version. So that is done. The next uh, command is to move the key clock uh, from the downloaded folder to the opt slash key clock. I need permissions, so I'm going to run the command with sudo. Yeah, so that's done. So we are ready for the development mode. Next is to navigate to the key clock folder, then start the key clock in development mode. So let's navigate to the key clock folder. Then you can see we have been con flip different uh, folders here. Let's move to the conf and here you can see we have a key clock configuration file. So this file will hold the configurations. Then we have another folder called bin and this folder will have a kc.sh script. And this is what we are going to use to start the key clock. So dot slash kc dot sh. Then in the options, you mentioned that you're going to start in development mode. That's it. Just to start the key clock in development mode. So you're not configuring here the SSL certificate or database, nothing. You're just starting it in the development mode. Then it's going to start by itself on port 8080. So the key clock development mode is running successfully. Let's log into the key clock web UI. And for that, from the logs that are displayed on the command prompt, when you start, you can see that there is a 0.0.0, .0 full colon 8080, which is the port that the key clock is listening. So it is listening to the interface. So if you have multiple NIC, then you can find it out to which NIC it is listening. So here I'm going to try with the local host. So it's 127.0.0.1. The first step is to create an admin user. So first time when you try to uh, browse the key clock after your first startup, 
you will be prompted to enter or create a username and password for the administration uh, with the username admin and password your choice so the user is created successfully then you can click on the admin console and browse the uh, key clock admin page i can also browse the uh, key clock admin ui by looking the ip address of my machine so it's 10.20.2129 so i'm gonna use that yeah so this is how you can access the admin console either through the local host or through the ip address once you start up so i'm gonna log in with the username and password that we just created and you can see this is how the administration console looks it's a web ui admin where you can see the options to manage the client users sessions groups and realm settings also so we completed with the installation of key clock in development mode it's just a startup without any configuration you only need to download and extract it then you can simply start up so this is gonna make your life easier if you're just gonna try the uh, key clock you need to you don't need to worry about the installations configuration of database and uh, uh, ssl certificate and all if you just want to try key clock so development mode offers a very convenient defaults for the developers http is enabled and there is no uh, strict host name resolution you can browse it through the ip address and the cache is uh, set to the local then uh, theme caching and template cachings are also disabled so these are the key points that you need to uh, remember if you are starting with a development mode options so that is it thank you for watching this video see you in the next one